When we were in high school or college, there was always that group of guys, maybe five or 10 guys, who were known on campus for being gaslighters, liars, cheaters, manipulators, but they ended up with the most girls. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, a girl just confided in me, told me that she's done with players and done with all these guys that abuse, use and abuse her, but yet she went back to that same guy. That was me, guys. I was on the phone with these girls and they confided in me and tell me all the things that they hated about the guys at our school, but then they slept with them the next week or month, right? And me, I had this superiority complex. I'm not like those guys. I'm not a, a cheater and a liar and a manipulator. I'm way better than them, which kept me single with no kiss and no ass until I was about 18 years old. The biggest problem that's holding a lot of men back is that they never get over this. They keep this mindset of moral high ground. I'm not like those guys. I'll never be like those guys. And guess what? They just stay single. They get no ass and they freaking get on the internet and leave nasty comments towards women or men who talk about dating, right? Because they're upset. They're upset that, hey, I'm being nice. I'm showing up on dates. I'm bringing flowers. I'm paying for the dinner. They think women work like, like a math equation. If I do this, this and this, she should choose me. But guys, when are you gonna realize that women don't care about how you treat them? All they care about is who makes them feel something. You can show up on a date early, have flowers in hand, pay the bill, walk her back to her place and everything. But the guy that called her over to smoke a blunt may still beat you. Literally, it's never about who is the nicest guy. It's never been about that. You know it's not about that and you still think in your head that you're, you're gonna find a girl who's gonna be this fairy tale for you. Let me tell you something. You've heard about the whole thing about nice guys finish last. Do you really want a girl to call you when she's 31, 32 after she's chosen 50 other guys before you and give you a call and go, you know what? You really treat me really good in high school or in college. I just wasn't ready then, but now I'm ready. Do you want that call? If you do, why? Why do you want to go back to a girl that thought she could do better? No point in that at all. Here are some steps I want you to take to end this moral superiority complex that you have. Stop trying to go band for band about being a nice guy. What I mean by that is there are guys out there who think the more nice I am, the better she's going to like and respect me. Dude, take that ideology and throw it in the trash. Girls don't care about who's the nicest. They care about who has a backbone, who's the most confident, and who's gonna make them feel something. And usually the nice guy is scared to challenge her thoughts and beliefs. Like if you can't look at a girl in her face and go, you're dead wrong, no, that's not true, then you're probably not ready, right? Another thing you can do to end this moral superiority is to tell yourself, you aren't better than the next guy. You aren't. Don't think just because you're a nicer and you're not a player that you're better. Yeah, it's just not how it works. And you know that's not how it works, which is why you're having the results that you have. So the sooner you can tell yourself, I'm not better than guys because I'm nicer. I'm not better than guys because I talk to one girl at a time. Guys, again, you're trying to be logical with this with, the, with this relationship stuff. It's not logical. It really isn't. Stop thinking so much. Start being more authentic to who you are as a person and not what you think women want. The guys that think they know what women want tend to do shit they've seen in movies and then that girl ends up saying, oh, I don't feel a spark. Oh, I think we're better off as friends. And the guy that is truly himself, his, his more confident, almost egotistical self, girls may lean more into that. So to wrap up this video, I just want you guys to stop thinking, the nicer you are, the better things are going to be. Stop putting yourself on a pedestal and thinking you're better than the next guy because of how you treat girls. Because the guys that you're putting yourself on a pedestal above, yeah, they're doing better than you. 
And I don't want you guys to stay this way and have the, that girl from high school or early college give you a call saying she's ready to date you now after she ran through a bunch of other guys and thought you were the safest bet because you were the nice guy. I want you, you to meet a girl first and she's like, wow, I don't want to let this guy go. That's the relationship I want you to have. Not the girl who with two kids and a septum piercing and a thigh tattoo, her calling you back. I don't want that girl to call you back. She needs to sit in her sorrow. She had a good guy and she pissed it away for rappers and athletes, okay? So stop having this superiority complex. You're not better than the next guy. You are not. Take that girl off the pedestal and start being who you truly are and your true authentic self and watch the results start climbing in. If you want to connect with me, ask me more questions, connect on live coaching calls every single Monday, check out the Discord. The link for that will be in the description. And we're talking to y'all soon. Peace.